What's up guys, George here from Zero Pit Productions, back with another Skyrim Saturday mod review extravaganza, and this week, taking a bit of a break from Somerset Isle just because I thought it might be nice to show off a different mod, just for, you know, a little bit of a change. This week we're taking a look at Nedgoth the Butcher, a weapon mod that adds a bit of a quest. This is by Frank Family. Uh, this is the same mod author who made Artifacts of Boethia, which I took a look at a couple weeks ago. To get started, you do have to go to this little hut right here, which is just northwest of Whiterun. So let's go inside. I haven't really looked up much about the quest, just so that I'm not entirely spoiled. So this is Platus Vedius's house. Got a lot of blood stains, and... Okay, those trolls are probably unrelated, but let's just kill them right now. I was going to do the, uh, the Red Guard mod this week, but I had trouble getting the mod to work. And I'm going to keep looking into that, but for right now, it's just not going to be possible for me to record it without my game crashing nonstop. One of the reasons for that is just that the, uh, some of the areas added by the Red Guard mod are very intensive for your computer. Got some blood stains, I see. So, uh, one of the cities in particular is just, there's so much going on in the city that your computer is just like, I don't know what to do with this. I'm going to just crap out right here. Oh, got a great sword in here. I don't have my lantern on me, unfortunately. Mammoth Tusk, okay. False back panel requires key, so let's find the key. I always like uh, weapon mods that add sort of like a short acquisition quest just so that it's more than, oh yeah, you just found this weapon on a mantle, or oh, you just made this unique weapon somehow that you knew the knowledge for. There's a cave southwest of my home where three Bosmer brothers live. Everybody in the area is afraid of them since they came from Valenwood. People think they're cannibals, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure, but they're certainly not good people. My wife and I were coming back from Whiterun when they ambushed us on the battle. Oh, on the battle, I managed to disarm one of them with my sword, but I got hit. A couple of guards were approaching. The Bosmers kidnapped my wife and ran to the cave. The guards didn't dare to go into the cave, so I went home. I'm bleeding. My wife's probably dead already, and there's not much I can do about it. If you read this... Please kill them. My wife is carrying the key of the secret room downstairs. That's your reward, and believe me, it's worth it. Palladius Vedius. All right. I don't know if the mod author isn't a native English speaker, because I noticed uh, both in this mod and in um, the previous mod, uh, Artifacts of Boethia, slight, very slight um, grammatical errors, but there's, there's a few of them. That being said, I'm also just a stickler for grammar, so that's... That's me, so... Southwest of the house. Southwest, so that's probably... Gonna be right over here somewhere. I'm not sure how southwest, but we'll find out real soon. And next week I will probably... Go back to... Somerset. Unless I can get Redguard working. I think another update came out for the mod though, so I'll take a look at that, see if that helped at all to make it a little more stable. I saw a lot of people saying that they were able to get the mod to run a little better if they uh, essentially compressed all the textures so that they were half the size, which uh, I, I can do that. It's just going to be kind of annoying. We'll see. We'll see. I do want to do the, the Red Guard mod because I did enjoy the prologue to it back when that came out. In, I think it was either March or April. Either way, it was fun. Uh, and I've been looking forward to the expansion for when it eventually came out. It's just a matter of getting that to work stably. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. If this mod turns out to be very short, I'll do another mod today or even more Somerset, but we'll see. Hello there! Oh, the Skull Crusher. Oh, wrong shout. Sorry about that. Did not mean to use that shout. I wanted to use Unrelenting Force, but now it's a little late because I already tried to control them. Oh, I'm about to die. Alright, I'm about to die. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember all my hotkeys. Yep, alright. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, hey there. Okay, I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Let's use some potions real quick. Filter of health, sure. Plentiful healing. Alright. 
And the mod adds a few new weapons, and I think a couple armor pieces just from um, Elder Scrolls lore and previous games as well. So very similar to Artifacts of Boethia in that sense. And he did another mod which was Artifacts of Nocturnal a while ago. I'm going to take a look at that. Possibly today, depending on how long this is. I don't know if this is going to be as long as Artifacts as Boethia. Which was about 40 minutes for me to complete, I want to say. I'm, yeah, I'm just trying not to die. <clears throat> yep. Hello there, sir. Yes, I am running in circles away from you. <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay, then. Okay, that did not work. Let's pop some potions. Why not regenerate stamina? Or not stamina, healing. Alright. I know this is really exciting to watch. Just me trying to... <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yep, he murdered me. He kept healing. That was not fantastic for me. Alright, so let's use Unrelenting Force. Bring my shield up. Yep, alright, get him get him while he's down, get him while he's down. Yep, up, 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 do, 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 do. Hoot. Alright. Okay, this is, nope, alright, already dead. Fucking Christ. The hammer that he has is definitely one of the new weapons, because just looking at the model while I fight him, you can tell it's different. Alright. I might switch to my crossbow, because that might just be easier, rather than trying to take him on mano on mano. Yep, alright then. Yep, oh, hey there. Alright, I'm gonna try and take out his brother, the snake. Yep. They are a bit strong, I'm playing on out of difficulty, just because people always wonder what I- Oh, and, and I'm dead. Yep. Oh no, I was paralyzed, but I'm gonna be dead any second now. Like, right now. God fucking damn it. Really? Alright, so, since that's not working, let's just do... Let's do this. Let's try and sneak up on them. Hopefully that works. It might not, because they're a bit tanky, it would seem. Oh, alright, that did a decent amount of damage to him. Okay, he's down. But he already detects me. Alright. Yeah, this works a lot better. <laughs> Uh, I feel, I don't know, I, I personally prefer using sword and shield just because it's much more my play style personally, but otherwise I'd be dead in 2-3 hits because of his massive warhammer that he just beats me over the head with and then I get a concussion. I was going to say tumor, but you don't get tumors from getting hit in the head. Skull Crusher, damage 36, let's take a look. Heavy Bosmer Armor of the Peerless Knight, Skull Crusher. 36 damage, 15 weight, value 4,000. Let's take a look at the model real quick. Just because that's a nice looking model. That's nice, I like it. The reflection seems really nice. The detail on the haft. It's wonderful, I like it a lot. Alright, so let's take that, obviously. Oh! Two-handed, because it is a... A, um... A warhammer. You did have the option to do that in... The, uh, the previous mod, Artifacts of Boethia, as well. You could choose if you wanted it to be a one-handed sword or a two-handed sword for a gold brand. Aengoth's Bow poisons the target for 30 points. Chance to paralyze the target for 3 seconds. 42 damage, weight 15, value 6,000. Alright, I'm gonna take... Oh! The Bosmer Kukri. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Kukri? Alright, models... The, uh, the inventory model is a bit big because it covers up part of the menu, but that's, uh, I like the design. Once again, I like just the, the detail, the leather wrap around the, uh, what looks like a wooden handle. It's, it could be either wooden or bone, it's hard to say, because, um, according to Lord Bosmer, aren't supposed to use wood from living trees, so they have to use it from either dead trees or, well, no, actually, I'm not entirely sure if I'm even getting that right, so don't listen to me necessarily. Alright, so I am going to equip the bow, just because that's new. And I'll equip the Skull Crusher as well, so let's... Well, let's favorite that, and favorite... 
Ingoth's bow. So now let's go to favorites. Ingoth's bow. Make that 8, which is my crossbow right now. And then Skull Crusher will make that 6. Alright, Skull Crusher and Ingoth's bow. Alright, the last brother's just hanging out down here. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh, how strong is he? Oh boy, this should be interesting. Maybe I should have kept my crossbow. <laughs> Although I'm using former arrows right now, so that might be part of why this isn't going very quickly. Man, imagine if in real life you had to shoot someone with this many arrows and they just weren't really affected by it at all. They just could shrug off that many arrows being shot into their back. Yep. Well, hope you guys are enjoying. Let's <laughs> let's switch to Skull Crusher and just Wow, yep, that just doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Did plenty of damage when uh I was being hurt though. Oh, yeah, he's very fast. Okay, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Alright, let's heal up, because that did not go very well. Yep, come on. Before he heals up again. Oh, this is not gonna go well for me. If I die, I gotta redo everything. Okay, this is not... This is not going well. I'm retreating back up to the <laughs> to the main room. Uh, I'm taking the <laughs> the bow and arrow back out. I'm gonna switch to Daedric arrows, and I'm gonna use some more potions as well. Uh, Daedric arrows. Daedric arrows. Daedric arrows. All right. That's right. Come up. I'm not hiding. I'm right here. You tried to murder me. And... Oh, almost almost there. Wait. Okay, good. And now we can't heal up anymore. Okay. So let's see. Bosmer Machete. Alright, so that's a like a longer version of the, the... The Kukri that we saw. I like the model in this as well. Obviously, it's similar. Makes sense. Uh, one thing I like is just look at the model on the... The blade itself, it's almost like a Damascus steel, which is really nice. A nice attention to detail. Alright. Key. And... The helm of Orion Bearclaw, which is... Uh, which you might remember from Oblivion. You got that from the Fighter's Guild, I believe. Look at that model. That model is just... Beautiful. You stagger 50% less. Stamina regenerates 40% faster. Increase your stamina by 60 points. Increases your health by 60 points. That is incredible. Um, I don't remember if it was supposed to be light armor or heavy armor from Oblivion, so I'm just going to say heavy armor because I typically use heavy armor. Nedgoth's left hand. When twinned causes bleed damage, berserk, and recharge. Alright. Did he not have... Okay, so he had... Because it says when paired, it um, it has the special effect. But I guess that means when paired with the... Probably when paired with um, the other sword that he had, I would imagine. Vidius House Key. Let's take that. Bloody Rags. No thank you. So now let's head back and see what is in the... Um, in the basement. Because I'm, I'm curious now what he has. I'm going to take a look at... Helm of Orion Bearclaw. That looks... It looks beautiful. It really does. Let's see how it looks on me once I get outside and the lighting's a bit better. Alright, so let's... Oh, that's, uh... Got some spiders here. Yep. One thing I like about this bow is just that it's a very... Very realistic, very basic design, which I like a lot more than... Some of the vanilla bow designs in Skyrim that just look... Really... Unrealistic and... Implausible as actual weapons. I thought that spider was still alive because it was just bobbing up and down. So let's put away my bow and arrow. Just zoom out a little. Yeah, that is a fantastic model. And the texture is just really great as well. I like the leather straps, which just kind of, you know, hold everything together. It's just, it's nice. The teeth 
and just everything else about it is just incredible. I really, I really like it. But you know, what else is new? So let's head back to Vedius's house, which is just right over there. We'll walk just for, just because it's not too far away. It would probably take as long if I fast traveled, in all honesty. Uh, so obviously this is going to be, this mod is just going to be for a single video. I will do another mod today. Uh, probably the Artifacts of Nocturnal, which is also by Frank Family. That might be it for today, just because... Well, we'll see. You, you'll you see. Because the general release schedule for Saturdays for Skyrim Saturday is... First video comes out at 2.30pm Eastern, Eastern Standard Time. Second video goes out two hours later at 4.30 Eastern Standard Time. And then, if there's a third video, it'll go out at 6.30. But we'll see for this week, because... It depends on how long uh, Shadows of Nocturnal is, or not Shadows of Nocturnal, uh, Artifacts of Nocturnal is, because I don't necessarily want to do three different quest mods in one day. That is, it's a bit, it's a bit much. It really is just a, a little bit much. I'm going to try and get Redguard working for next week, but we'll see how that goes. I know, my, I know that the mod author has seen my uh, previous co coverage of their mods, so maybe I'll just try and get in touch with them, see if they have... Any tips as to what I can do? Oh! Nedgoth's right hand, so this is where it is. Alright, completed. The Butcher. Alright, well let's go outside and just take a look at everything. Alright, so let's just do a little bit of a wrap-up right here. So we have the Helm of Orion Bearclaw, in terms of armor. Uh, you could have gotten the Dragonbone armor off of the Bosmer that was named Bosmer armor, but it is just uh, Dragonbone armor with different enchantments. We have Nedgoth's left hand and Nedgoth's right hand, both do 35 damage, 16 weight, same value of uh, just short of 1600 gold. When both Nedgoth's hands are wielded, it absorbs 25 points of health, recharge by killing. Okay, that's a nice custom enchantment right there. We have the Bosmer Kukri, we have the Bosmer Machete, we have Angoth's bow, which poisons the target for 30 seconds, chance to paralyze the target for 3 seconds, and Skull Crusher, which doesn't have any enchantment, but it's just a really nice model and a really nice... Uh, texture and just everything about it's fantastic. So, like I said in the past, I do like when um, quest mods are involved in the acquisition of new weapons or armor. It just makes it feel a bit more immersive rather than, oh yeah, you just randomly found this piece of armor or gear that, you know, everyone wishes that they had because it's been in previous games and it's been in the lore for a while, stuff like that. So, that's going to be it for this time, guys, for right now for this video, but I'll have another video out later of another mod, and I'll see you guys next time for uh, more Skyrim Saturday Mod Review Extravaganza. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.